Uh, another image I want to mention is uh, this. Um, only recently in my work have I worked with a compositor. Uh, and the reason for that is um, circumstantial in the sense that uh, in this case, it's it's an image about Balthus, the painter Balthus, and uh, what I wanted to do is make a portrait of Balthus without using Balthus, but the references of his work, and uh, this is called uh, Life. Um, forget the title. I just made this too. I'm getting old. Um, Life is an invention, um, and it shows. Balthus's classical uh, education by way of uh, this woman with this incredible body, uh, kind of a showgirl actress who I know, and uh, she's wearing this bodysuit that remarkably is only about a, a foot high, and then when it stretches over her body, uh, it basically is it's uh, near tearing apart. But her, her face was joined with the face of Mona Lisa, and this basically represents uh, Balthus's uh, classic education and his idealism. Uh, she, Mona, is holding the uh, vase of Ange the Sauce that's in the uh, Musée d'Orsay in, in Paris, and the water over her fingers represents the, the, the source of all things. Uh, could be divinity, could be the source of meaning and truth and art, uh, and uh, Steve uh, Yazinski, who I work with in, in Santa Fe, was able to actually draw the water it and make parts of it out of focus, which is fantastic. And uh, through the vase, in a kind of surreal way, is uh, the first of Balthus's models, and this is the awakening. Uh, Balthus uh, would use ingenues or young woman, somewhere between um, uh, milk taking uh, and a bottle and then uh, uh, very, very sensual, sensual aspects of their bodies. So this woman in the awakening uh, to life and to art and to purpose is holding the hair of the classicism. And uh, Balthus called the king of cats. Uh, I photographed a cat on a chair uh, in this, the same shot, is observing uh, the observation, my observation, of, of his work. And this chap who's holding the board, uh, this is uh, the carpenter in Balthus's very, very famous painting, La Rue, or The Road. But you don't see the man's face. In fact, you don't see any face uh, in this photograph because uh, Balthus uh, I believe wore a new face or a new identity every day when he engaged his, his life and his, his art. And there's a face of Picasso here. And the reason for Picasso is that uh, Picasso uh, did own um, a Balthus and uh, they were friends. But unlike Balthus, Picasso, uh, even though he, he created many, many, many great masterpieces, um, including Guernica, uh, there's for me there's no darker masterpiece than the guitar lesson by um, Balthus uh, that's not pictured here but a lot of my work is about the art historical and and uh, religious uh, references and uh, next to all this following this kind of constellation of the work of, of Balthus kind of like a graph of aesthetics is uh, the portrait he did Balthus did of uh, Dolores and Juan Miro, and uh, they're wearing masks from the actual painting that I photographed. And uh, this to me, this painting is for me one of the greatest portraits of, of 20th century art. And um, that's, well, these are two examples of, of what I do and, and how I go about it. Uh, this is a straight photograph of 17 people, and then this represents uh, something that. Uh, comes after the fact. A lot of my work is planned uh, very, very carefully before it's made. I keep it very open for change in the reality of, of what models do and how they react, and, and uh, but I direct them just the same. And uh, during the photograph, during the printing, I do all my own printing, and after the printing is when um, I can work on the print, work on the negative, print it again, 
so that the emotion is as, as um, challenging as the uh, emotion of my need to make that particular image. And in this case here, um, uh, this image will be shown tomorrow at APAD in New York. And uh, it's already been shown in Paris and, and there have been many sales of this already. And it's, it's good. It's good that they sell because that's how I make a living.